Hey everybody, this is Shirlene with Shirl's Crafty World dot com a real store. Today we are coming to you probably our last video of 2023. Sniff sniff. But anyway, I wanted to share with you. I missed my whatnot this week. Uh whatnot a uh, haul. Um this also will be my last whatnot Wednesday. Um starting in 2024 it will be called word wednesday and i will be sharing probably a craft as well as a scripture with you um so let's see as you can probably see i bought some more fabric like i really needed to um the only thing scrapbook i got from one lady also um the same lady i got the fabric from is this wonderland scrapbooking from stamperia it is so pretty <gasps> you guys so i'm gonna keep this because i'm gonna do a demo on whatnot on the 26th of january and i'll see if i can do a demo on um youtube too but i mean you guys know how to make junk journals and there's 50 million people on here that have videos about it so but they don't have, you know, there's people and whatnot that don't know about all of that. So, I don't mind sharing that information with them. Um, this here, there's a bunch of strips of this. Um, but this is so pretty. So, I figured if I fold it, it looked like it was supposed to be a table runner. But if I fold it the right way, it'll be a nice cover for a junk journal. So, I have that. Then she had some of this in two different colors which I thought was really, let me open it up so you guys can see it. It's really nice. They almost look like they're supposed to be placemats, but they're not. <laughs> um, they're pretty enough. They could be though. They could be fabric placemats. Y'all know me with the purple. Look at that. That is so pretty. Even if I wanted to cut the squares out and do a patchwork kind of thing, I could. Um, so there's several pieces of that. In different colors the purple and then there's one that's in the green here so when I bought them they came several pieces um, here's the green one look how pretty it's like a green and gray so there's that one and this one too is the green and gray okay then I also got some orange here this is pretty, you guys. Look at this. This is somebody called Nuvo. It is pretty. Yeah, Nuvo. So I have a couple pieces of that. She had two different sizes. She gets her fabric comes in different sizes. Um, because, I don't know, maybe where she gets it from, they come in different sizes. Okay. And then I have these I got from her. Which, you know, most people are like, I can't do nothing with that. Because I think these were samples. But I can roll it over and make a journal with it. That That is totally a journal right there. I just got to get this off. Which somebody said if you can use um, a heat gun or a hair dryer, you can peel that off. If not, you know, I can always decorate over it. Or make a smaller journal. Fold this down. And make a baby journal <laughs> or just use that for decoration on a page or something so there are four of those hope I'm not making you guys dizzy and then there are yellows oh, excuse me just a second let me okay and then there's some more I got from her these are these say that they're silk but I guess when I think of silk, I think of something different. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty. And are they all the same colors? Yeah. Just different size pieces. And then this I got from another seller. I thought it was the prettiest thing. Because look at that cream with the white on there. That's so nice. And then I got this from another seller. <laughs> This is from Hatley's Fabrics, and I had to have that because right now I'm doing a lot of African 
stuff because uh, Black History Month is coming. And speaking on that, she threw this in as a freebie because she said that goes with that, which it does. It complements it. And then this was a little piece I was waiting on from somebody. It took two weeks to get here. I'm like, girl, no, won't be buying from you again. But then this came in. This is from a lady called Plants to Skin Care on whatnot and I buy my African fabric from her and just so happens she's right in Manhattan which is like not far from me because I'm in Connecticut train right away and uh, yes and she has a school in Kenya so she goes to Africa for two months every summer and she gets all her African material and brings it back or she ships it back so I'm like yes girl and her prices are good. She had these on sale. I think these were $4 a yard. So I can make a lot of journals out of one yard of African material. So I am excited. Until I get more bonded with my sewing machine, it's journals for right now. But then I can start making some skirts and headpieces and so on and so forth. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful wonderful um new year we are gearing up for a wild weekend right babe yep. <laughs> as wild as we can tomorrow december 30th is mr bob's 70th birthday y'all 70 years on this wonderful earth of gods so we're gonna celebrate and thank god for his 70th birthday and then sunday we probably i'm probably gonna Try and get some cooking done, meaning Bob's going to do the cooking because we got to have our black eyed peas and rice and whatever other things. And we'll have some uh, Martinelli's yeah. uh, apple cider to toast to at midnight. And then Monday starts the new year. So and meanwhile, I'm here doing paperwork. You know how that is inventory and taxes and so forth. Yee hee. <laughs> the joys of being a business. Anyway, this was a good year for us. What not really helped, really helped my business numbers. So I thank God for that. So you guys, be blessed and we'll talk to you next year. This is Charlene with Charles Cat the Real. Dot com. <laughs> Bye for now.